My name's Matt, welcome back. Oh, fucking hell, come on. Let's play the fucking game. My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we're back on the SV. I've gone and got some parts, so we've got a new rubber boot, jobby, and an O-ring, and all the rest of it. What we're going to do is we're going to do the rear master cylinder. Right, let's just get on with it. So, the way you kick this whole thing off is we need to get this rod out. So there is a lock nut at the top there. And it doesn't say that, it says take off our Johnny thing first. Uh, undo that. Give that a clean up. Pull this out. There's our O ring and some manky brake grease. A brake grease? Yes, brake grease. There's some manky uh, brake fluid in this. So let's try and clean all that shit out. Oh, just on a side note, that 303 shit, that rubber protectant stuff, we've got a ping pong tournament thing going on at work and my god that 303 stuff works awesome on your ping pong bat <laughs> any road so we're gonna blow all the schmoo and shit out of there yes I said schmoo get over it we'll just call this YouTube language I've also got a broken bolt in there that I had to uh, drill out it just refused to fucking move It's still refusing to move. Come on, you bastard. Tighten that up a bit more. Give it the whole. Do you know what? Fuck that. We'll get the whole thing apart and then we'll get some heat on it. Any road. So, the next thing we have to do is remove rubber boot, said boot, and then there's a circlet. Fuck, you know, that's tiny in there. So you can hardly see that. Ooh. But in there, there's a circlip. So let's get our circlips out. Uh, mini ones. Why is that still in its packet? I haven't used these ones, obviously not yet. Right then. Oh, that's a fiddly fucker, isn't it? There we go. Booyah. So, come on, let go. Circlip. I should have got a new circlip, really. So we've got a little weird little plunger thing. It's got lots of shit on it. And a washer. A retaining washer. And then this plunger. Ah, there we go. So we'll let the the, gre the old brake fluid drain out of that for a second. So here you are, we have, this is quite cool, we have a spring that applies our preload and it's rusty on the back of that. Oh, that just pops off. Yeah, so it's a bit of rust on there. So this is actually a, a tapered spring. It has a tapered... Um, diameter, not a constant diameter. We then have a little rubber seal. When you're cleaning seals like this, especially rubber seals, you just got to be a bit not so fucking heavy with it. So there's our seal. We then have this scroll here, which is quite cool. That's like a return. And then we've got another seal. And then we've got a cup. So we've got a cup on the top of there. This other rubber seal. And then that obviously sits against that cup there. So this means if your alignment's slightly out, and I say slightly, we're not obviously doing this, but it's a ball and socket basically. And you'll probably put probably tells you to put a dab of grease in there just to stop it um whatever is it, 
whatever is it, is it, is it. it says check the inside of your master cylinder give that a clean it's a lot of shit but this shit that's coming off it is um, the uh, butylene I think it's the butylene in the rubber that's starting to degrade we'll clean that out we'll give the outside a quick rub now this is a stainless brush and I'm using a stainless brush on our aluminium which seems like a cardinal sin however these bristles they're um, really soft very thin bristle brush just give this a, a clean up while we've got it completely apart and you want to do it now so when you do your final clean and blow air through it and all that kind of shit it's like you know, it's like vacuuming your floor. You don't vacuum your floor first and then do the worktops. You do the worktops first. So all the shit that falls off your worktops goes onto the floor. And then the last thing you do is vacuum up or sweep up or whatever. Start from the top and work your way down. It's the same kind of principle here. Where as soon as you've got all the parts out of your assembly, then you clean your bits. It's always good to give you bits of clean. We all know that. I hope. Otherwise, the girls won't touch it. Now, um, I was going to say actually say a part about sandblasting and soda blasting and all the other kinds of media blasting and stuff. If you blast aluminium parts, it is a good idea and a good practice to then lacquer the parts afterwards. The problem is, is when you blasted it, especially if it's anodized, is you've taken that nice protective anodized coating off, and then you blast, you know, by blasting it, um, you're also leaving it, if you look at the finish of it, it's not nice and smooth, it's all peened. In a sense, that's what it looks like, because it's aluminium and it's soft and one of the problems with aluminium when you anodize it when you uh, sandblast it and if you don't anodize it yourself is that you can sandblast it sandblast it sandblast it um and you can you know soda blast it or whatever it's always now it's super super clean so get yourself some gloves out and i'll show you this one day you get yourself some gloves out don't touch it with your fucking hands because you'll know People have done it before, if you've got sandblasted bits of kit and you touch that with your fucking hands, even the grease on your fingers, it's because it's a rough surface, it just catches anything you touch it with. So a good job is now you've got it absolutely immaculately clean by soda blasting it or sandblasting or whatever, it is a good idea to then, while it's in that state, to lacquer it. Uh, we'll wash that out with some solvent yeah so now also now I've got it like this I'm also going to crack that off um, god this arm looks like shit though doesn't it Does, how do you get this off you just have to thread it off the uh, you're just going to have to thread it off the jobby yeah you're just going to have to thread it off Right, let me just, um, another good job for uh, adjustables is that you can grab stuff with adjustables. Adjustables are great for doing little bends in sheet metal, stuff like that. But in a sense, you've got to think of an adjustable spanner like a mini vice. It's not a 13, it's a 12, you idiot. <laughs> Pew! That really didn't want to fucking know, did it? Get that nut out. Give all this a clean. Can you see how manky that is? I've got a new pin as well in my little parts bin. Um, I'm not going to show you. You're going to be cleaning this stuff up. There's no point in doing that. 
we will do the magic of editing and get straight back to all the clean parts. But yeah. generally speaking, it's because it's questions. Yeah. We look through and we get people who are lost. Someone will say, help me, help me. I've got this in bits. This won't go right. How do I do it? And you can tell. You think, oh my goodness, that's a yeah. small way. Yeah. I know what you've yeah. done wrong there. Yeah. And you kind of, you, you, I, I know, I know, I know. And you yeah, want right. to tell them and you want to help. So there's a real desire in me to want to reach out. It's part of making the videos in the first place. I completely understand that. I don't like your jerk off name. I don't like your jerk off face, I don't like your jerk off behaviour, and I don't like you. Right then, we're back at it. So, what we've got to do is put this back together. That's what I'm doing. So, I've got a new boot, a new o ring, and the way this whole thing goes together. So, you have your tapered spring here with this little collar nipper thing on the end. That goes on the inside of that rubber bit. So, you should have a big base it tapers off and then there's your rubber block and that rubber block just basically sits against this piston here like that's all it does it just sits there on our ball end our ball end sits in there so obviously the way you do it is you chuck in your seal first like so and then push that down with your um, scroll seal jobby like that and that should want to pop back at you, push it all the way in, like so, oh fucking hell, you can see how much of a knob this is going to be. So it says put some molly grease, I can't find my molly grease, I have to get the fuck around, but I have got some ultra heavy duty Lucas shit. Um, so we'll put that on instead. It's not really the end of the world, all it means is it's just going to wear out faster over the entire lifetime of the bike. So I put some of that grease in the cup, just like that, just a little bit. Nothing maddening, no, nothing maddening, nothing crazy. What the fuck am I talking about? And then obviously that just sits in the bottom of there. So before we do that, luckily our threads show where, if you can see that, our, th oh, no there we go, our threads show where our lock nut was. <laughs> uh, so I'll put that back on. And then we can put our... Where's that other fucking nut gone? Oh no. What have I done with the other nut? Oh, you bastard. Oh, well, it's not the end of the world. Oh, right, yeah, so that goes in there and the nut sits on there like it did before. Uh, we've got a new O-ring, so get rid of that one. What the fucking hell did I just do with that nut? I was cleaning it and the fucking phone rang. Oh well. Any other nut will do. Um, yeah, put the, our rubber roaring back on our reservoir feed. Oh, fucking hell. Put that in there. Like so. And then retighten this down. That doesn't seem like the sat right size o ring. If I made a boo boo here. Or are we going to put it in the housing first? Let's put it in the housing first. There we go, yeah. So put that o ring in there. Try not roll your o rings if you can. Then put that in. There we go. Tight fit. Nice seal. What the fuck was I doing? Could get a new screw, but meh. There we go. So that's that. This is all easy, simple shit, really. And then it's circlip on. Get our new rubber boot out. And then our rubber boot goes on that way. Oh, I'm about to take our nut off. Fucking cause talk about ass backwards. Hey. So our new rubber boot goes on that way, is that right? Look at the pictures. Is that right? Yeah, because it's got to go over. Right, so our rubber boot 
has got to sit on that little recess there above that nut that's where the top of this sits so on there but we don't need that yet because we need to gain access to it so put our cap on like so push down push our we can put that on later actually now I think about it put our circlip in something let me spread my uh, circle up again for God's sake the problem is with this is you can hardly see what's going on is that it? no My God, that's low down. Press our plunger down, that might take some of the preload off it. Fuck me. Struggling like a knob. Uh, they see as soon as I do that, it pop back up again. Right, that's nearly in. Oh, that is in. It's all right. I'm just being a fucking complete knob. It is in. I just couldn't see it. Just doesn't look very in. Is that in that groove? That's a very shallow groove. Yeah, that must be it. Because the plunger, I can push the plunger down, so there's nothing resisting it. That's it, she's in. Yeah, it's not the best. Maybe I should have got a new circle. Anyway, she's in. Right then. Rubber boot on. This one's going to be a knob. <laughs> oh, God. No, right, be careful. There we go. Then our lip should go into that groove or we're just going to leave it there it needs to go in that seal fuck me that's a dick around Suzuki you bastards just try not to nick it There we go. Are you going? Are you going? You're in. You're in. You're in. There we go. So we've got full movement. Plungy, 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 plungy. As you can hear. Jobs are good and Get that nut on and get the other fucking nut wherever it's bloody pissed off to. 
I'll find the nut, but you tighten them on, well, you, you put that nut in first, you wind this into that nut, and then you basically use obviously this lock nut to basically secure it, and that's it, jobs are good done. Now we can go and stick this with our fresh brake line, Ta back on the bike.